Hey guys, it's Tushix here, and welcome back to Pixelmon Season 3. This is episode 22, and today's episode we're gonna be doing a little bit differently. Actually, not really. It's just because uh, today I don't have my mini map because Minecraft decided to be stupid today and was like, I'm gonna crash you every time you use a mini map. So I couldn't figure out how to install a mini map. I tried different kinds, and it just crashed every single time. So I don't know what's going on there, but today we are going blind. We're gonna walk around the world without any clue where we are or anything, which also means we can't really teleport to waypoints or anything like that. Uh, so we're gonna be hanging around kind of the same general area but I have a good idea of what we're going to be doing today and what we can be accomplishing today and and yada 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 so uh, welcome back to Pixelmon I know it's been a little bit of a while since the last video because um, I don't know I've been very busy and school's about to start and things have been going on and whatnot so there has been a bit between videos also the fact that this is pretty much my only series at the moment uh, there's this and then let's be indie which let's be indie episodes were supposed to be like once every week or two like not a proper like series series like this is uh, because one of the series I was gonna do with Cletho which I mentioned uh, I think last episode probably and st on streams and whatnot um, is not happening anymore because she went to pack south and she's not gonna be back for a while and I kind of want to get it recorded before then um, so I'll be, I'll be looking for an, someone else to do that series with. Ooh, I gotta make some more space for these, uh, for these here thingies. Ooh, let's do this then. While I'm chatting it up and talking to you guys and updating you guys and everything that's happening. Uh, cause there has been some new developments, uh, since last episode. And I like using this series to kind of tell you guys what's going on. Uh, because this is, like, my most popular series, I guess. So this is where I can reach the most amount of fans with whatever I want to blab on about. Um, so... Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah, and then another series, which I'll probably be, I'll probably try and record after this, assuming that the server is working and is not broken, uh, is the Clash of Clans in Minecraft series, and this is uneven. How did I only just notice this? What, this is three wide, and then this is two wide. Has it always, no, there's no way it's always been like that. I fucked something up here. When did I do that? <gasps> That's actually really frustrating me now. I don't even know what I can do about that at this point. It bes besides, like, putting all of these over one, which just would not work for me. Um, what I, uh, I, don't, uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. That's really, really frustrating now that I've noticed it. All right, uh, let's take this gut dark wood. We're going to fill in the spaces, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. We, I can't be bothered doing it in the middle of an episode, but I'll figure something out. I mean, you guys can just tell me what to do. I, I don't know. Um, okay, let's go like this, and then, oh, get out of my way, grass. Um, so then, what else? What else is going on? So, there's just, I mean, there's just gonna be a lack of videos until I can start, to, I can start the new series that I want to. You know, we're gonna get into the groove of the new year, and everything. It's 2015, people, so it's time to do new stuff. I mean, that said, I'm gonna continue doing Pixelmon, <laughs> so, I don't know, it's not gonna be that new, I guess. Um, but, you know, Pixelmon is always going to be a series. I can't see me stopping Pixelmon anytime soon. Uh, I can see me stopping this series at some point, although I do want to keep it going for a long time. I want to keep it going longer than 50 episodes, which is how long Season 1 went for. Uh, so I want to keep it going longer than 50 episodes. We'll see how long we can keep it going. I don't know. Uh, if you guys can keep supporting it, then I don't see why it would have to end anytime soon. Um, and speaking of which, don't forget to smash that like button down below if you have not already to help support the video. Because... Makes me feel all nice and, and fluffy inside. Um, uh, so there's whatever I'm blabbering on about there. And then, ah, uh, uh, put the stairs down. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? All right, there we go. Okay, we're nearly done with all this. And then I'm going to put a statue in because we're here. I may as well get started on that. Although I don't think we have any more pallets, but we have an entire episode to like get that figured out. Anyway, okay, so today's first statue, uh, oh, I gotta do signs as well. You know what, today we can just, this is a chill, ep this is a chill episode. We're gonna chill, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna talk, and uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So today's statue, shout out to Shinobu360. Uh, uh, would you please make spell right? Yeah, there we go. All right, and I'm gonna color you in later in the episode. We do have to do all of these statues. I do have to figure out everyone's names. God damn it, I have them all written down, it's just I don't know which order I put them in. Um, according to what I've written down, this should be Honey Man, and this should be All Pro, I think. Assuming that I went from here to here, uh, in the order that I've written them down. And then, I mean, this guy, this guy should be Rising Darks, and then this guy should be, I mean, it's just, oh, I don't know, it's all very messed up. I've got to figure it out, maybe this is not something that I can do in the middle of an episode, I, I don't know. Huh, um, but yeah, welcome back to Pixelmon, guys. Um, uh, um, 
Uh, oh, okay, so what I want to do this episode is we're going we're gonna to be charging up this orb because we have not done much with this orb. So we're going to be doing that while getting ourselves a Rapidash because it's been a long time coming getting ourselves a Rapidash. And hopefully with all the Pokemon killing that we should be doing in today's episode, we will, uh, we will also be running across a couple of bosses. And if we're lucky, hopefully a shiny. I mean, we do have 22 Ultra Balls. Is this, is this the episode? I don't know. I, I, did, I made some Ultra Balls on stream, so I don't know if, if that's... If that stream happened between last episode and this episode. But we do have 22 Ultra Balls, which should be more than enough to catch any shinies that we come across. Uh, but we do need to make some more Ultra Balls. I don't know, I feel like, yeah, this is just going to be a chill episode. Um, nothing, nothing too hectic. No goals, you know, super set in stone or anything. Um, we might be making some Ultra Balls today. We just going to be doing some training today. Um, that said, if you can see on the thumbnail of the video, a legendary or a shiny, that means that later in the episode, there's going to be a legendary or a shiny, and, uh, right now, as I'm talking about it, I'm completely ignorant to the fact that we are going to be getting a legendary or shiny later in the episode. Um, so that'll be fun if that's happening. If there is no legendary or shiny on the, uh, on the thumbnail or in the title, then this is just, again, gonna be like a chill episode. Oh my god, that Krabby is massive! That's a very big Krabby. Oh, it's a Kingler. Kingler? Of course it's a Kingler. What am I saying? Uh, J Pegasus. Go. Go, sir. Da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, why did I send a Charizard? That was a bad pick. All right, just go slash. Just slash his face off. Just, you're going to have some crab for dinner. All right, that's not going to work. Go, Rico. Rico, use Drill Pack. Ba, 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 ba. Go. Okay, no. Uh, yeah, hydro Pump. There we go. All right, 32. Awesome. Let's go find some Pokemon that Pegasus can kill by himself. Oh, <gasps> Lapras's. Do we have a Lapras? Oh, I should have got my checklist up. Oh, I haven't been uploading. Oh, I, I have not been updating my Google Docs checklist, I don't think. Because uh, I've been using... <laughs> I've end, I ended up using a different checklist. Um, you know, I've got to update that soon. Oh, this victory, but no, Weeping Girl, sorry. This will do. This is what we got to look for. Although it is 10 levels higher. Can we do it? You don't have any good fire moves. Oh, no, okay, never mind, you know, take it back, I made a mistake, okay, uh, flame burst, uh, boo, hoo, you dead, okay, mm, maybe something a little bit weaker, you know, not a level 5, because that's a little bit too weak, what is this, Ursa Ring? That's it, Ursa, no, it's a Pidgeot, ooh, ooh, Pidgeot, Pidgeot, ooh, I like Pidgeot, because they're always very high level, and they're also very cool, don't use Whirlwind on me, little bitch, I'm trying to kill you right here, alright, Feather Dance, whatever, I'm just gonna use Hydro Pump, you're gonna die, there's level 33, ooh, Inferno, finally, you learned a good fire move, uh, Ember, Fire Spin. Get rid of Fire Spin. Screw that. Screw that, that, that. Um, what level are you? Pharaoh. I mean, let's get this. I mean, how many can we kill? Let's get this down to, we're at 323 kills. Let's get this. I mean, we're going to be able to get it under 300, which I think is a good goal. Um, especially if we forget about training Pegasus and we just go straight into... Did that... Oh, no, there he is. I thought the Pharaoh just disappeared on me. Um, yeah, if we just go straight onto, like, training a million different, like, uh, not training, uh, sorry. If we forget about training and just try and kill everything with, like, Rico, because we can just one-hit everything, especially if they're really low level. Uh, wait, what's that F that keeps appearing in the corner? Look at that, in the top right corner. What is that? That F. So if I press F, nothing happens, so I don't know what that is. Uh, Pixel Mom, what are you doing to me? What are you doing? All right, come on. Oh, stop moving! Yeah, and I can't even teleport to, like, the desert biome or anything. Ferry, you're so annoying. Thank you. All right. Uh, but a bubble beam. Bob, 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 bob. Uh, how cool would it be? How, how cool would, like, animations in Pixelmon be? Like, animations of moves or something. Or, like, even if they started implementing it slowly, like they've been doing with, like, Pokemon and whatnot. Just, like... You know, some moves like tackle, you'll just make the Pokemon actually go and hit the other Pokemon. I know sometimes they like jump forward a little bit and the other one jumps back. But I mean like, you know, it can't be that much to like do all the simple moves, like give them some animations like that. Uh, like takedown, you know, you could do the same thing. And then stuff with like stun spore, like you could actually have like, you know, little particles of spores like come down. That wouldn't be too difficult. Uh, I'm, I'm saying this, I'm just talking out of my arse here, I don't actually model or, uh, or do anything code. I don't do any of that, so I probably have no clue how it is. But, I mean, like, you could also do, I mean, like, some things, I don't know, what moves would be very difficult? Like, the fire moves, like, flamethrower. That'd be pretty difficult, I feel. Actually, you know what? No, the fire particles are already in Minecraft. I'm sure you could do something. I just feel like they could do some, like, really basic animations. I don't know. It, it'd make the game very, very cool. Or the mod, sorry, very, very cool. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah, Gloom, um, oh, if I'm finding the, if I'm looking for high-level Pokemon, I may as well just try and train this. So, we should be getting, uh, uh, what are we, get, what are we trying to get? Rapidash, at, uh, level 40, I think it was. Oh, and we crashed when we had, uh, when we battled the Gloom, that happens sometimes. Uh, Pixelmon just likes being a little bit of a bitch, it likes, it likes doing that, he's like, hey, Sushix, what are you doing? I'm gonna crash. 
and he's gone. Uh, Ekans, Geolo level. See, the thing we also got to worry about is getting lost, because I can't just teleport back home like I can normally do. Or at least I can't even look at my map and see where we are. Like, I'll just be completely lost this episode. This is the lost episode. We have no map this episode. We're going off the map. Uh, is that a thing? Is that a term? I don't think it is. Uh, but... Is Sushik's off the map. Extreme. Off the map extreme time. Ba ba! Um... I don't know what I'm saying. I generally do not know what I'm saying. I think, no, I had a stream the other day. And, uh, and someone came in and they're like, Oh my god, you're so much more organized on your videos than you are in, in your streams. Like, this is mayhem. Because, like, in our streams, like, nothing's organized. We just fuck around with it for the entire time. And, um, and I was like, oh, Well, I mean, I mean, well, you know, to be fair, I don't organize my videos at all. You know, uh, none of it is organized at all. The only thing I ever organize in my videos is who I'm putting as statues and who I'm renaming. I write that down before each episode. That's the only thing I ever organize. Besides that, I never plan what I'm doing. I don't uh, do things off camera so to prepare for the next episode. I literally just like, oh, I should record a video. And I open up Minecraft and I press the record button and then I wing the entire thing. So, I mean, you guys like it, I guess. You know, getting 200 likes on the videos, I mean, that's gonna mean something. That's gonna mean that I'm doing something right. So, I mean, thank you guys so much for being cool people. And, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, there you go. Uh, now what? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, you know what? While we're here, let's rename Charizard. So, now, I want to talk a little bit about this before we go on. So, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just see if I can uh, cancel this. And then I just want to, you know, and I'm like... Uh, I'm just gonna cancel this. I'm gonna go back on that. Then we're gonna open this, and we're gonna go. Oh, so I can just—I just wanted to get rid of uh, uh, not enough items. All right. So, okay. So I was looking for the name for the Charizard. Saw so a couple of cool names, and uh, and then. But now, what I'm having to do is I'm getting a lot of comments. We get about over a hundred comments each episode about you know nicknames and whatnot, and um, you know a lot of people. Even though I've said multiple times, think of something creative, something that other people aren't going to th think of. Think of something that sounds good. It doesn't actually have to be super relevant. I mean, our Empoleon's called Rico. What? I mean, Rico, I guess, the connection there was Rico is the name of the penguin on Madagascar, and she's a penguin. But I mean, like, at the same time, it's just, Rico is just like a name. I just thought it'd be cool to call my Empoleon Rico. Um, and a lot, like, that's to do with a lot of other things. There can be a very small reference, but ultimately, it doesn't have any, it doesn't have to have anything to do with the Pokemon itself. Um, but yeah, people, you know, Charizard's a fire Pokemon, so I got Flame, and Blaze, and Smoke, and Fireman, and stuff like that. Like, really, really kind of cheesy, corny names that five different people are gonna suggest. And I'm not one for choosing a name that multiple people have suggested. Um, so a name that I didn't think was cool was Igneal, uh, but we got like four different people commenting that. There was another name, and I just like control f and I went through all my comments, and like multiple people had commented it. So if you're gonna suggest a name, and you actually genuinely want it to be picked, you think it'd be cool to rename name of the Pokemon in the series, and given a pretty much a free shout out, uh, you know, choose a name that other people have not commented down below. Like, you think of a name, you're like, oh my god, that's awesome. Check everyone else's comments, or just control F the comments, and then look at them and be like, you know what, no one else has done this, good, put it down. Anyway, that's my rant. Uh, hopefully, I didn't lose most of you. Probably lost about 50% of my viewers then. But, you know, I love you guys who are still here. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, no, I actually, sorry, I'm keeping you all on edge because of all the people who want to know if their name was picked. Once I choose the name, then people are going to shoot up. Anyway, um, uh, today's winner, congratulations to Jurak787, who I believe is also a, a statue, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, Jurak sound familiar, or maybe it's just Jurak is on my streams a lot. Uh, some names of you guys sound very familiar because I see you a lot of my streams or on Twitter or whatever. Anyway, and he chose the name Salamander, which is also a, um, oh, oh, oh. It, which is also a um, fairy tale reference. Oh nope, didn't not spell that right. Salamander. End up, and no one else had written it. So I'm like, yes, that works for me. Uh, yeah. So if you guys want to rename your Pokemon, don't forget to leave down your uh, your uh, suggestion uh, for what Pokemon. So we still do need like a, a nickname for Pegasus and or oh, oh no wait, sorry, not Pegasus. No, that's that's the nickname in itself. Uh, we need a nickname for Feraligatr, uh, our Vaporeon, which we have on us, which is currently still an Eevee until we train it up a bit more. Um, I wonder what I wonder at what point we should evolve our Eevee into a Vaporeon because Eevee's not going to learn water moves. But Vaporeon will. I should probably do some research on that. Um, 
but uh, yeah, how, I mean, how, how many Pokemon are we at? 318. So we still got to kill like 18 more Pokemon. I still want to get this uh, Rapidash, and I think that's pretty solid for uh, for an episode to get uh, to get an evolution. And it's not like a simple evolution. Getting a pon uh, Ponyta to level 40 is a pretty high level evolution. So um, I mean, that's that's a pretty good accomplishment. And uh, and you know, we're still gonna work on this orb because orbs are just a pain in the ass to train up. Oh my god, it takes forever. We're seriously gonna have like you know. 10 more episodes of just training up this all before we can go see the Articuno. But then, when we go see the Articuno, it's gonna be so built up and so hyped that it's gonna get, a, like, a million views. I mean, that's what I'm suggesting. That's what I'm, uh, sorry, pr predicting. Is that the video will get a million views? Um, I mean, it... I, if I'm wrong, you know, it might get maybe 600,000, 700,000 views. But, uh, you know, I'm expecting a little bit over a million. Because, you know, that's that's pretty much how all my videos get. I'm pretty much the PewDiePie of, uh, of uh, Pixelmon. You know, that's, that's, I get called that a lot, you know, the PewDiePie of Minecraft, PewDiePie Pixel 1, it happens, it happens here and there. Um, also, I'm joking, if people are taking me seriously, uh, I'm hoping most of you do, I, I feel like a lot of my jokes, like, okay, a lot of my jokes, you know, people understand them, find them funny, like, haha, she's hilarious. And then, you know, because my audience can be kind of younger sometimes, there's some people that just don't understand the joke, and then they'll write some, like, really weird comment, and it's just, like, it's kind of, like, cringy, because it's like, oh my god, what is happening? Can you stop crashing me? It's two times in a row now. I'm trying to battle. I'm trying to battles. All right, that was a cool Electro that would have given us good experience, who's now buggered off. Um, so, Litwick, yeah, 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 what do we got over here? We got Clint. What's Clint doing? All right. Uh, Charlie, uh, you're a Charmeleon. Oof. Ooh, take down. What are you gonna do? Oh, shit. Okay, well, that did not work as well as I wanted it to. Alright, Pidgeotto, Bubble Beam, whatever. At least we're training up Rico. Uh, by the way, trainer Pokemon do not count towards the orb because it specifically says, uh, oh no, it just says more kills, but I'm pretty sure it has to be wild Pokemon. Um, wait, can I, uh, scroll up this, uh, nope, I can't scroll up the chat because we disconnected from... The server, even though it's a single-player world, we disconnected from the internal server. Um, so, oh, we need, need to go color in that statue, so let's go and do that. How long are we being recorded? Shit. This episode's going long. I really want to get that Rapidash, though. And, uh, and I also, uh, want to train up this orb more. I mean, we can have a bit of a longer episode. Why not? You guys kind of deserve a longer episode, I believe. Uh, let's kind of throw some stuff away that I don't need. Throwing it in my house is probably not a good idea because I'm going to end up having to pick it back up later on. Alright, let's avoid it like the plague. Uh, Alright, Lapis. We have Cactus. Actually, no, we're going to have to make two of these. And we already have wood on us, but we are going to have to go get some red flowers. Do we have... Do we... Do we... Red flowers. Do we have any? No, we do not. Alright, let's go get some red flowers. They're not difficult to find, especially because we live in a very lush biome area. We live in all the forests and the grass and the plains and the... Oh, I'm so used to opening up my mini-map at any time and I just can't do it. Can't open up my mini-map, it's frustrating me. Um, I also gotta get used to not needing to speak so close to the microphone because I, I, if most of you hopefully know that uh, before, I mean maybe like a month or a bit ago, um, I didn't have a good cam uh, a good microphone. I had a uh, a Microsoft, a broken, my ad, a broken Microsoft Live Chat LX 3000, whatever, and uh, it's not really used professionally. Why? Why did I send out this guy? I thought he'd be able to do some damage. Um, it's not really used professionally. Uh, it's, it's used for, like, people to, like, cheaply have, you know, like, a headset and talk to people online or whatever. But, yeah, uh, can you stop healing yourself? Holy crap. Um, Brian. Nope, you, you just, you're gonna be a little bitch. Can stop it. Stop healing yourself. Also, aren't you supposed to go to sleep when you heal yourself? And there we go, finally. Okay. Um, so, um, and, uh, so I was using that. And then I finally upgraded to a, uh, a, uh, a proper, like, microphone that people use for, like, recordings and stuff. I got myself a pop filter. It cost me a good $300 or something like that. Um, because, but I was happy to spend it because, you know, my YouTube means a lot to me and it would, it would increase the quality of the audio. It also means that I'll have a microphone that I'll pretty much never have to replace or worry about because the quality is, is a proper, it's a proper professional microphone. So I'm not gonna have to worry about it for ages. Um, so, 
Wait, what was my point? Oh, yeah. So I'm not used to, like, talking into a microphone. I'm used to, like, wearing a headset, and then it just makes it all easy. So when I first started using it, I was talking, like, right up to the microphone like this. And I don't think that's how you're supposed to use it. So now I'm trying to get used to, like, sitting back a bit more. Because my microphone still picks it up. It'll just be, like, uh, it'll probably, uh, I'm assuming it'll just sound better. Um, and not so, I don't know, weird. Um, also, I feel like I've probably got my audio settings somewhat wrong. Uh, so, I mean, there is, there, the sound could sound better, I just haven't got it set up properly. But, as long as you guys can hear my voice and understand what I'm saying, it really doesn't matter. Um, okay, so, Pegasus, level 36, four more levels to go. Hello, Jigglypuff, what's going on? What's going on? What's happening, man? You're looking good, you're looking tasty, you're looking fine. Um, Rico... Rico was already, like, level 61 when we started this, wasn't he? So he's only gone up one level. Hmm, that's a little disappointing. Alright, I see a red flower over here. We may have missed one because I kind of forgot that we were looking for it. Um, but, you know, we're all fine. How much dye do you get from this? One or two pieces? If it's two, then we're kind of good for the... No, it's just one. Alright, let's go look for more. Rose red. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Metapod, Suaddle, Golbat, level 30. What are you? Suaddle, eh... Zubats. Oh god. Oh god. They're everywhere. Run. Run. Oh my god. Escape. Escape. Um, uh, pink flowers. No. We need red ones. Give me red. Give me, like, the big rose bushes that have, like, multiple bits to it. Just give me a bunch of rose red so then I won't have to go looking for- Oh, I see- I see some in the distance. I'm not gonna have to go looking for some for ages. Um, I also see a leafy on stone thing, which we should try and keep in mind because we are gonna need to find a stone like that at some point. Um, yes, I did see a rose red big flower thing that, uh, gives us multiple dyes. Ah, here they are. Awesome. Uh, look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yes, there's more over here. Oh my god, people. We're never gonna run out of rose red. Holy crap. Uh, we're never gonna run out of dye. And then lapis, I mean, it's easy to get, and cactus is easy to get, so... We are pretty good on the dye front for the rest of the series. Uh... Uh, a rose bush. All right. Uh, what do you what are you doing? No, give me that. And then rose bush. Give me that. Forty four dies. All right. No, let's keep going. Let's just collect as much as we can because we're not coming back here. Um. So this should be good. I mean, assuming I make two statues, uh, every episode. Um. Oh shit. We're gonna need to clear some space out. Um. Get rid of the sand. Assuming I make. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. My phone vibrated. Oh, that's fine. I thought it was like a text or something. Um. Yeah, assuming we do, like, two statues every episode, um, we should be good for, I don't know, let's collect all of these and we'll see how much dye we have. But, a very long time, alright, that's all of it. Let's just put that there. Okay, so that's, what, 67, so we'll go down 66, that's about 33 episodes worth, which is a lot. And we're just gonna quickly make these two things, because we have the required parts. Bam! Alright, we have two palettes done. That's gonna be able to color in at two statues for today. And we are nowhere near le evolving our Pegasus. We still have four more levels. As far as I know, it could, it could be like level 42 or something. I just kind of, in my head, it was like level 40. I didn't think it would take this long to level up a stupid ponytail. Um, especially because we can't, like, teleport to a uh, jungle biome or anything like that. It's kind of just been a struggle. It's been, it's been one struggle after another. Uh, you know what I'd like? I'd like a shiny Magikarp, because they just look really, really cool. That and, like, shiny Geodudes, because they're both gold. You just get gold shinies, and that's just really awesome. Also, I want a shiny Mudkip, although I would never get a shiny Mudkip, because they barely spawn. Like, I don't think I've seen an actual Mudkip, a normal one, let alone a shiny one. Oh my god, there's more Red Rose over here. Do we really need it? I don't feel like we need it. Uh, but I'm gonna collect it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna collect some of it. Alright. See, now that we've found it, it's just popping up everywhere. Also... We're a little bit lost. Let's- Oh my god, an Ivysaur! Oh, that's just really cool to see, because I like Ivysaurs. Uh, we already have a, you know, Venusaur on us. Oh wait, maybe we should catch this. <gasps> no, wait, I want to catch this. Because, I have a good reason for this. No, 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 because we're doing a living dex, yeah? So, we kind of need an Ivysaur. And then we also need- Wait, Razor Leaf, is that going to kill it? No, it's not going to get- You're so weak, Venusaur! Alright, uh, Sleep Powder. And then, uh, yeah, so we're doing a living dex. If you don't know what a living dex is, basically, we need to catch and own every single form of every Pokemon. So, we need a Bulbasaur, we need a Venusaur, we need an Ivysaur, and then we have them just, like, all set up in the PC, like, next to each other, and it looks really, really cool, and I like doing it. I do it, like, in every Pokemon game. Um, so, we currently have, oh, if I can quickly try and pull it up, 
uh, while I'm recording this, uh, it's like Living Dex. There's a website specifically made up for it, which is really awesome. Uh, it's like livingdex.xyz or something like that. And uh, I use that a decent amount. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's sponsored by Living Dex. Actually, I'm not sponsored, so don't don't think that I'm sponsored by them. I'm not actually sponsored by anyone. I'd like to be sponsored one day. All right, Sushix, and then the password is uh, something. Um, and then I log in, and then... Okay, let's see here. So I don't know how updated it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's actually fully updated, as far as I know, except no, it- no it's not, holy crap. Is this- is this even the right one? Holy crap, this isn't updated at all. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, let's just open the PC real quick. And I'll uh, place this baby down. And uh, no, this is not the same thing. Because the first thing it has on here- wait, what would have been though? Because Sushi Extreme is under a different thing. And then... Wait, didn't we, did we not catch more Pokemon than this? Oh no, wait, we caught all these. Yeah, but we do not have a Pikachu. Anywhere. So why is it ticked off a Pikachu? We don't have a Pikachu or a Raichu. No. But there's no other- Oh, wait, no, this is- Oh, no, you know what this is? Oh, uh, yeah, I've never- I have not used this website for YouTube. Or at least this YouTube series. No, you know what it is? It's uh, my Pokemon Omega Ruby playthrough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have that, and then I also have one for my stream. We have caught a ton of Pokemon on my stream. Oh my god. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're not gonna be getting our pony- uh, our Rapidash today. Uh, I'm gonna just put that out there. We're not getting the Rapidash today. We're also not getting as many kills as we wanted. How many kills did we manage to get? You know what? I'm very tardy. I set my expectations too high for myself, even though the expectations for today were not very high at all. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna quickly just turn my server on. Hopefully no one joins it. Although... Um, well, okay, so people who don't come to my streams, if either you don't like watching streams, you don't have the internet to watch streams, you're just not awake at the time I do my streams, or you're not interested or whatever, um, the way I run it is I play Pixamon on a server, and that server is private, and it's open to people who have donated to my stream before, so there's a decent amount of you guys, you guys are really, really awesome, you've supported my stream, and, uh, and myself and whatnot, um, and it's only like five dollars, I think was the minimum of donations to be able to get whitelisted, so we have a good 10, 20 people that have been whitelisted on the server, so I'm kind of worried that someone would just randomly join it, because there are a lot of people, I'm pretty sure there's people just sitting in my chat right now, like people just wait in my streams for me to stream next, because it's just all over the place, there's no actual schedule, which I should set up at some point. Anyway, so the server is on, so we're gonna, we're gonna log out, uh, I'm fine with you guys seeing the IP, I'm streaming right now, that's what it says. So if you, if you, I don't know, if you get my mod pack, that server should be automatically in your server list, and if that, ev that server, that server's in the ever online, then come to my stream, because you know I'm streaming. Anyway, so this is my stream, right? This is my stream world. Oh, yeah, I was moving house. Anyway, so I just wanted to show this off in the middle of a video, because why not? Uh, this is my own video. I can do what I want. This is what people have been building. Uh, it's pretty awesome. There's a lot of people here. And uh, so this is my new house. And if I can just get a PC. Oh, we have a lot of balls, because I either get a lot of pokey loot, which most of these is pokey loot, but then all of these ultra balls is like one person just like went and gave them all to me, which is really awesome. Yeah, people, you guys, all you fans are just great. Um, so, and do I have any more food? No. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to my old house. Normally I would teleport there, but we do not have a waypoint mod. So if we just head all the way down here. I also have running boots on this. I should probably get running boots in our actual YouTube series. Um, yeah, we're gonna head down here. And, uh, head inside. Okay, so, Sushi, if you want help, I blah, blah, blah. Um, so, what are we- where was I gonna show you guys? Oh, right, my PC. So, look at all this. This is a living dex right here. Like, having each de like, we have a Caterpie, we have a Metapod, we have a Butterfree. We don't have a Kakuna, we need a Kakuna. But, um, uh, oh, I also caught a Kyogre in the thing. That was on stream, that was a really, really fun time. These are all my Pokemon that don't fit in Gen 1, because I haven't been organizing them yet. Uh, but if we're looking at Gen 1, like, I have caught a lot of these Pokemon. Like, it's pretty insane how many of these I've caught. I'm really proud of myself for this. I mean, if we also want to throw in the Venusaur there, the Charizard there, the Blastoise there, or there, sorry. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon that we have in Gen 1. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show that off because I'm being a prick. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna- <laughs> I guess I'm gonna end the episode in the middle at the end of the- wait. Shit, no, we can't do that. Never mind, because I gotta put the last statue in. Okay, that would have been cool, anyway. So people who skipped through the video and got to that part really randomly, uh, they're gonna have a fun time. Anyway, we're gonna hit like half an hour on this video, aren't we? Yep. Alright, let's hopefully, let's get home quickly and end this. Cause half an hour video is gonna take me, it's gonna be a bitch to edit and a bitch to upload. But, um, I don't know, I'll do it for you guys. Now, where the hell are we? Hopefully we're close. Alright, roof forest biome, we know we live in a roof forest biome. Um, uh, if we can find the river, 
that I've shoved just like tons of sugarcane around. It's gonna be really easy to find at that point. I mean, let's try and get let's try and get a good view. Uh, so we're gonna have to hop up on these trees over here. It should be too difficult. Ah, there we go. And then uh, uh, we're gonna hop over here, and then over here, up here, and then over here, and then uh, where the hell are we? Um, mountains over there. Oh god. Oh god. We're very very lost. I need to do this last statue though. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Uh, um. Um, uh, what I could do is I could just put a statue in a really random place, and, I mean, that could be that. You know what? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna put this, this, this next statue, this person, you may feel a bit unlucky because it's not going with all the other statues, I might put it there later on, but you should feel, you should feel, like, it, it, immensely lucky and grateful, because your statue is gonna be a special statue, it's gonna be in the middle of nowhere, and even if we put your statue back with all the others, it's still gonna stay here. Uh, so anyway, today's second statue, in the middle of nowhere, on this mushroom, is, congratulations to, uh, okay, congratulations to, uh, Pika Pokeball, wait, Pika Pokeball, uh, one, two, three, yes, okay, it turned into a skin, alright, and, bam, color you win, Pika Pokeball, uh, you know, you, uh, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make crafting ta bench, thing, crafting table, and then we're gonna place this here, we're gonna get that there, then we're gonna make some sticks, we're gonna put that there, and then, and then we're gonna, we're just gonna get this, and we're gonna, uh, Pika, Pokeball123 is our, our secret, uh, sexy beast. Okay, so we're gonna put that there, so congratulations, Pika, Pokeball123, you get to be our secret sexy beast in the middle of nowhere, we're just gonna leave this here forever. Uh, if you guys want to be a statue in the world, you know what? I think I might start doing that from now on, just leaving statues randomly in the world. Um, so if you guys want to be a statue, uh, let me know in the comments down below, leave your Minecraft username, and I will pick one or two, but I normally pick two people now. Uh, I'll pick two people from the comments at random, for, uh, to be, to be a statue, and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the episode, we kind of got really lost by the end. Hopefully I have my mini-map at the next episode. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching, don't forget to leave a like down below if you do enjoy this episode. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username and your nickname suggestion for any Pokemon that has not yet got a nickname. Don't forget to subscribe for more Pixelmon, Minecraft, and all that goodness. Oh, and shit, I had one more announcement that I should have made way, way, way before. I have an Instagram, well, I, I have an Instagram that I have not used in like two years, but now I'm using it again. Uh, so if you guys want to go follow me on Instagram and, and keep up to date with all the pictures and stuff, uh, that'd be pretty cool. It's in the it's in the descriptions now, so if you need to find it, it's just official Sushix. Um, it'd be awesome to see you guys commenting on new pictures, and you guys can keep up to date with me. And I post, I'll probably be posting pictures of myself, so you actually want to see what I look like. Follow my Instagram. Um, anyway, see you guys on the next episode of Pixmon Season Three. Bah!